Hi, Dr. Romano. It looks like you're still at work. What's going on now? Hi, I'd like to go over a problem with you that represents one of the more challenging questions on the DAT, the OAT, or the MCAT, and that's on indicators. So come along and let's have a look. I've got some really good questions on indicators in the destroyer, but I came up with a question that I think you're going to find really challenging. The KA of an indicator is 3 times 10 to the minus 5. The acid form is green, and the basic form is yellow. By how much does the pH change in order to change from 75% green to 75% yellow? The best way to do this is just to set yourself up. Now, I'm going to let HIN stand for the acidic form of the indicator, and that's going to be green. IN minus will be the basic form, and that's going to be yellow. I'm going to write the reaction of HIN ionizing to H plus and IN minus. And then I simply write the Ka expression, which is the products over the reactants, H plus times IN minus over HIN. Rearranging the equation, I solve for the H plus concentration. Now, why did I do that? Because we're looking for pH change. So we know we have to get the hydronium ion concentration. So let's do it. All I'm going to do is plug in. Let's first go for 75% green. Now remember, green is the HIN form. So we have the Ka, which is 3 to the minus 5. The green is 75. And obviously, if that's 75, the IN minus is 25. I got, you set, I got you perfectly set up with the numbers. 75 over 25 is 3. So 3 times 3 to the minus 5th is 9 to the minus 5. 9 to the minus 5 is the hydrogen ion concentration. Minusing the log of that gives me a value very close to 4. Now we do the same thing. We want 75% yellow. So I'm going to take the same equation. We got the Ka. This time, 75% is yellow. We're going to put the 75 on the bottom. We have the 25 is the green. And as you can see, that's a third. A third of 3 to the minus 5th is 1 to the minus 5th. Minusing the log of that gives you 5. So as you can see, we have a pH of 5 and a pH of 4. So therefore, they differ by one unit on the pH scale. So the answer is 1. Um, I was very glad to see some of my top kids today actually get this question right. You were able to see a problem you never saw before, but you reasoned it out. And I like to see that. That's going to be the key to that 30 if you guys are looking for these big numbers. I love what I saw today. You did a good job. Jimmy Goldstein, you led the way. I saw he was the first guy that answered the problem, and then the big hitters followed after that. Good job. Done. And I'll be seeing you guys in study group. Keep up the good work. Bye-bye. Dr. Romano, I want to get a 30 on the DAT. I'm studying everything in the DAT store and look into all your videos. Will I get a 30? I can't promise a 30, but keep working hard. We have a good shot to do well. Good day to you. Good day to you, sir. He never takes a break, I'm telling you.